Hello punters, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, after a week off, we're back for Locked In. Uh, Patrick joining us as always, DJC, and a new face. A, an old face back again, Matthew Zamet. Welcome, mate. Thanks, mate. Uh, what, well, view, viewers, uh, viewers were down or something, hey? Shuffled the decks, brought me in. Zamet, you haven't aged well since I've last seen you. You're looking older. <laughs> <laughs> Is it your camera? It's, it's the hats off, mate. Are you, doing a, are you doing some sort of filter on your... <laughs> too, much, too much sun. Too much sun. Are you just, are you just smoking with the door closed in that wow, room? Wow, A bit leathery. You look, a bit mate, leathery. Oh, yeah, a bit leathery. What are you doing outside so much? Wow. All right. Thanks very much, mate. You look good too. <laughs> I actually... I actually do. <laughs> I actually do. Uh, how are you, mate? You, you've been a fantastic addition to members only. Start and take looking at some of those all-in markets. Uh, I think you I think you, you you kicked off your stint with Cannonball, which was a uh, I think was a very nice get for members. Paid some bills. We we got the price wrong though. Gee, it drifted, but um, drifted, didn't it? Won very well. Um, we've we've found value mostly. We've found some value again yep. this week. So uh, we need a we need another winner though. Keep paying some bills. Yeah. We, we keep getting in front of the overs, God. We just need mm. to That's allow it. us to. Couple, DJ, couple so nice have you recovered, mate? Yeah, oh, mate. We got we got a few lined up, so that's going to be good. And the punters are already on it. DJ, C, have you recovered? You recovered from the weekend. You are. You are. You took the punters club a little bit too hard <laughs> on Saturday night. We had to really pick you up. Your spirits are down. Yeah, I am um, physically. I've recovered. Still, uh, probably mentally, I'm still a bit uh, drained from the. Um, just the poor performance, I guess. But um, it wasn't you know. a poor performance. We we had freaking twelve thousand dollars in the last bet. Yeah, what the but punters wanted. I probably just, should, you know. But it's just, uh, yeah, it was just disappointing, mate. I had shares myself. <laughs> I, 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 Patty, how was the slipper? <laughs> <laughs> you, had a, you boys had a big day. I mean, you were with him, I think, at one stage. <laughs> yes, he was with me all day and all night, mate. He I was think there. I saw you on a FaceTime. He was late, there late. until you looked good stumps. then. <laughs> <laughs> wow, where's Hildo? I wish he was here. Anyone, anyone oh, yeah, was Hildo. looking good. Anyone was looking good besides <laughs> Hildo and I. Oh, so it was a big day for you guys out at Slipper. We saw the mug. Well, <laughs> don't blow our ears off in the microphone, DJC. But what was what was the mug? What was the video just yelling on social media as he was leaving the races? I can't remember. He's going. Nah, of course I can. Pat? Oh. Where's Pat? <laughs> He's bloody walking into the cricket. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys seen that? No. Why Wolf Den put it up? I don't know what it was, but he was. Yeah, he was. Where's? He's, I think he's carrying Rachel's jockey bag out. Going. Yeah. Where's Pat? Where's yes. Pat? He had his shirt on at I least. Think she he had a few few topless, a <laughs> uh, bit of top, topless content from Mug the last week or two. Yeah, I know. I know. If you haven't followed the Mug punter on Twitter, do yourself a favour. Um, Four cracking races to get through this week. Uh, you guys all know the concept. Fellas, you have 45 seconds to convince me what bet we're locking in. And we have been going not too bad of late. So, uh, Paddy, you're drinking a sun Sun-kissed. <laughs> it's that bad. That's how bad it's got. What a fucking throwback. <laughs> you know how I get on a Wednesday. <laughs> Where's the Fanta? Where's the Fanta? <laughs> Creaming, creaming soda oh, will be no. next. Yeah, a, a, a pasito or a pasiona. <laughs> I say, Pat, gonna... Pat's getting all nervous. Has to have a big swig of his sun kiss before we get in. Mate, if he's got sun, if he's got, if he's got sun kiss, that means one thing: he's had the dirty bird. He's had KFC today. <laughs> what Did are you, you drinking? What are you drinking, DJC? I am drinking the uh, sponsor. Actually, they've sponsored me recently. Wild Turkey American Honey. No one has sponsored you. No one has that, sponsored you. Is that a Stockton Island iced tea? <laughs> uh, actually, I don't, think, I, I don't think Stockton's an island. Oh, uh, isn't it's it? close. Uh, Depends which way you drive in. Yeah, oh, okay. New Zealand. Okay. Um, we're going to start at Mooney Valley. Gentlemen, the order that we go tonight is uh, DJC, Zamet and Pat. No surprises there. Uh, I'm going to be running with Boom Bet. Prices, thanks to the good folks over Boom. our real sponsors, not <laughs> Wild Turkey. But they'd be a good sponsor too, I suppose. Boom, baby, um, honey. <laughs> yeah, the honey, the honey. <laughs> Boom, baby, not Wild Turkey. No, 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 no. Wild Turkey didn't sponsor us. The honey of the drink sponsored us. <laughs> <laughs> the honey farm. 
Uh, let me just update these prices. So we're looking at the right uh, prices. Our internet's just ticking over nicely. We're going to start at the Valley on Friday night, gentlemen. We have the William Reed Stakes Group 1. About quarter past nine Eastern Daylight Savings Time. Imperatriz is the favourite at $3.75 with the boom. In the Congo, what a horse, $6.90. Jigsaw, seven fifty. Benedetta is $8.40. Not emergency in the race. Bella Nipatina, $11.80. Uh, DJC, starting with you, 45 seconds, go. Boys, in the Congo for me. Barrier one, Timmy Clark riding for Gay Waterhouse, which obviously means one thing. Catch me if you can. Returning from a spell of just over four months, um, you know, finished off last prep with a very solid performance in the Hunter, where it only got beat, you know, not by the by Valana. It was a cracking race. Um, it's had two trials leading into this race with a third behind Shades of Rose and lost in running. And its most trial, it finished first. So I think if it can jump well from barrier one, it's going to be very, very hard to peg back. Uh, Zamet, go, son. Uh, still not, still nightmares from Imperatrice uh, and the Canterbury Stakes. What, we were on at $11, weren't we? Um, somehow she got run down by a tourist. I'm with her again, uh, although not overly excited about the race, but can't go past her again in this race. Paddy, do these boys have the winner? Uh, I think so, only because it's such an open race. I don't think it's coming from DJC. I reckon he's throwing in the Congo there on top to suck up the boss. <laughs> Thinks he's going to get an early locked in there. But I- I've got to agree with Zamet here. The Artorias form through, um, through Imperatriz, where it just got nutted on the line. I think that'll be good enough to win this race. And uh, I'd love it to be wet and tip Bella Nipotina on top, but Imper- Imperatriz for me. CJC, you have done that exact reason, haven't you? You've gone in the Congo to get the, the locked in. Is that it's right? Well backed. No, it's well I, backed. I, um, mate, I, I just think it's in. For, I reckon it'll run a big race. Um, I really wanted to go with the Kiwi. Obviously, Opie is the name of my son, so I've got a bit of a anything that he rides. I'm pretty, pretty attached to. But I, um, mate, so I just why didn't you tip it then? No, yeah, I just, I I just think, oh, here we go. I just think in the oh, you know, I'll back both fucking anyway. But. <laughs> I, um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, Maybe back a third or fourth in there. Lock it in, just lock it in, Sam. Lock it in. Uh, yeah, yeah. You're locked in, DJC. Well done. That was very well played, mate. <laughs> so we've locked in backing both of them. <laughs> oh, very good, mate. You, you're on fire. Uh, okay, so we're going to head to. Where are we this weekend? We're down at uh, Flemington, aren't we? Um, yeah, we have the Australian Cup, which is race seven, uh, over 2,000 metres. Cascadian uh, is not our favourite, I don't think. Sorry, this is just he is. refresh. He is. He $4 is. Yep. Yep. Right, you are $7. Mo, a slow hunger, seven thirty. Nonconformer seven fifty. Steinem, $10.80. This is a... Uh, oh, good luck. Good luck in this one, fellas. Uh, DJC, kick us off, mate. Yeah, look, I, I can't go past Cascadian. Uh, absolutely flew home for second behind Mr. Brightside last week in the All-Star Mile. Um, you know, it's on the quick back up, but I think so are a few others in this race. Third up, it's going to be peaking. There's a bit of early speed uh, up front. I think it's going to set up perfectly for it. Um, you know, it's going to be coming home with that wet sail. Interested to see how Moonga goes now that I've jumped off, to be honest. Um, I think with the luck I had last week, I think Moonga's probably almost immoral now that I'm not on it. But, uh, yeah, mate, Cascadian on top. Very good. Zamet. Let's give this buzzer a test, eh? Yeah, yeah, go. If you're going good, I'll, I'll let you... I hope it's already started. Out, yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> best horse. 20 seconds left. Best horse, <laughs> best setup. It's as simple as that. Peaking third up, as DJC said. Uh, last time third up, 2,000 metres, bolted in the hill stakes, beat Monophilia that day in Numerian. Last time I got to Flemington 2000, second Azaki in uh, the McKinnon. Um, unlikely to get the same hot speed that it got in that all-star mile, but I think that uh, WA horse will run them along enough and hopefully Mellon can just get him blending into that race at the right time at the 400 and we'll see that horse finish off nice and strong. Very good. Cascading, getting the early marks. Jeez, was it 45 minutes we get? No, he, he was <laughs> under that. Come on. He was under that. Come on. He's going to have his own show soon. 
<laughs> That's okay. I think he's doing well. In saying that, Pat, you've only got 38 seconds left. Oh, well, I've got to say, careful of the crook, mate, that's tipping Cascadian on top in this race. <laughs> We've got two, we got two of them in here. There will always be some of them at the track. They're the same people that used to tip Tom Melbourne and Villiers. They're crook in the head. Be careful and be aware of, be aware of those mates. Creadiris, all of the above. For me on top, the new kid on the block, right you are. These horses that are posting picket fences have been going enormous, and this horse has been knocking them all off while rising in weight every week. There's no reason to turn away from it. Right you are on top for me. No need to look anywhere else. Oh, it gets in within three three seconds to go. Uh... Can't believe he's knocking Cascadian. Yeah. Right you are has probably won about a quarter of what it has in prize money or something like that. Let me have a look. Let me find this. Oh, you, look at you blokes going. It's a G up. In the All-Star Mile. That's like doing form on the bingo, the All-Star Mile form. <laughs> there he comes. Cascadian oh, has I won see him six down and a half DJC. million bucks. What's he's, right you are? 683,000. It's won oh. 10% of what I he's know, won. I and you're oh. knocking him. I know to you that's not a lot. They're sick mates. Wow. They're sick, they're sick mates that, you know. Back, back $6 million earners. Yeah. Oh, here they come. They'll have Hopeless. a tip. Here they come. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they'll have something for me. He walks in and goes, oh, nice. I'm going to back the boys in blue today. Yeah. Uh, which, which race? <laughs> care do something to, different. Care to oh, elaborate? Right. All right. I think I'm going to go... <clears throat> Jay, come. Zamet, I'll lock you yeah. in, mate. Thank you. Go Cascadia. I like it that you had to go back at Pat, too. That's probably the main... The main reason you got that. Okay. I'm off the mark. Zamet right. just locked mark. in. Zamet, yeah, can you can you actually lock in? Can you actually tell us a story about what was that five dollar bet you had when you were seventeen and Pat's never let you live it down? What happened there? I'd like to remember who it was, mate. Yeah, had, must have had two dollars fifty each way on something when we were sixteen and I was earning fifty bucks every fortnight. And ever since then, I've been a small each way punter to Pat. <laughs> <laughs> watch, you watch when the show's over. He'll go. Well, DJ, so I actually do know which horse that was. It was Farla. <laughs> <laughs> and when Sam said, I look old, I am old. <laughs> and proud of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. So we're rolling straight into... What have we got first? I think we've got the Vinery first, race seven, at Rose Hill Gardens. Anyone going to be out there? I feel Are like I should head back out there. I left a lot of money there on the weekend, so... <laughs> Maybe you should get back down there to pick it up. Yeah, see if there's a little bit hanging around. Uh, let me just update my page so we've got the right prices. While uh, you bring the right prices up, Rob Waterhouse, what a tonic. Mate, give me the next roll, all right? Oh, were you, were you taking him on? Oh, I'm saying to him, mate, so you're giving six fifty about this thing. Give me $7. Oh, no, I'm taking it for too much. Who was that? <laughs> Which horse? Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you after the show. <laughs> <laughs> Pat had a small each way bet on it. <laughs> I had, a, had a small each way play. Yeah, I don't want to know. Way. I don't want to know what your small each way play is. Uh, okay, let's rip into this Vinery Stud Stakes Group One over two thousand meters. Uh, Prowess Kiwi mm-hmm. Horse two dollars forty. Pavitra three dollars fifteen, and a big leap out to Fireburn at eight dollars and Soul Choice. Uh, the best of them at double figure odds. DJC, are you with the fave? I am. I am actually. On the Kiwi year, boys, it's been absolutely phenomenal. Um, you know, over the ditch, winning its last four, including Group One and Group Two. Uh, I think the money looks to already have come for it. I think it opened at about three fifty, and it's into about two fifty now. Um, I only just one last start in the Group One, but I was really impressed with um, you know how well it fought on. It had done a fair bit of work during the race. Loves a soft deck. He's untried on a heavy deck, so I'm just hoping that the um, the Muggs weather report for Sydney isn't isn't correct because um, yeah, apparently there's a bit of rain coming. What was the Muggs weather report for Sydney? Oh, it's raining! Yeah. <laughs> Pat, it's <Yeah>. raining! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's bloody raining! I looked out the window, it's going to rain. <laughs> that was his report. It's raining. It's raining. Uh... All right, damn it. Let us know. Who wins this one? May we're tired of the hit, me and DJC. Uh, Prowess, classiest filly in the race. That's where you go looking generally in these races. Um, straight to the top of the market. Beautiful Kiwi filly. She's unbeaten on the soft. I think it'll be a soft track. I don't think it'll be a heavy. Unbeaten in four starts this prep. 
won at weight for age last start. Very difficult for a filly. And she's got some excellent form lines. So she beat Campionessa, uh, who had run second to Sharp and Smart, who we know as the Derby favourite. Uh, La Creek was there in third, who ran fourth in the Empire Rose last prep. And uh, most recently was behind Levante, who was awesome behind Animo in the, in the George Rider. So some really nice form lines uh, that, that tie in her most recent start. Um, and yeah. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, oh, no. I've said my piece. I've, I've said my piece. I've, I've said my piece. Right as the buzz is done. Said my piece. Well, someone done. was reading out Ancestry.com then. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Did you see DJC? For anyone watching, DJC's in the bottom corner going. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, be that Oz. Yeah, yeah, be that one. Yeah, I was going to say all this shit too. I thought I was in a uh, political rally. Uh, uh, <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Um, no, but just. just just trying to find that uh, Campion S. I think that's running the, in Australia Australian this weekend Cup. as well, isn't it? Yeah, Australian. Oh, so in Melbourne, right? Uh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we all shit canned it. <laughs> was that the one? That that was a protest <laughs> group one, wasn't Daddy, it? Hey, 45 <laughs> seconds. Please tell me you're not back in the favourite too. Oh, mate, I'm going with the Kiwi. Do you know what? Just ah. marry. Just throw all the Kiwis in a multi. Oh, we don't need to talk a long time about this horse. It, <laughs> I think it could flog this field by 10 lengths. Just throw it in a multi with Imperatrice. And because these two sickos as well, they'll probably throw the Warriors in as well in that three multi. So. <laughs> the Warriors. <laughs> for me, for me uh, it's uh, Browess on top. Thank you. Oh, uh, very good. Very good. Well, obviously. We've made it easy, Sammy. Yeah, easy, easy, easy. Lock it in. Prowess, and uh, I'll I'll give it I'll give that one to Patrick because he's doing a multi with the Warriors. So there? no one went Pavitra, hey? I thought there'd be one of us would go for Pavitra there. There you go, no, mate. I'm, I'm not sold. Like, what did it, it <coughs> what did it win a camp, race at Kembla? Shit, in though. Yeah, but this thing's coming over Group One where it probably shouldn't have won it. I reckon it's just a good horse. Sounds good. One open class Group One, didn't it? So. It did. If yep. if Pavitra wins, that'll do me. Blake will do another nudie. Oh, wasn't his nudie on the weekend? He's laying it, is he? That's good. He's laying Pavitra. Did he, did he do a nudie on the weekend? Yeah, yeah. he did. Well, it, yeah, didn't really look, it didn't really look like a nudie. <laughs> did you say hairy? Like I've, like, I've, never, like... I've never seen a bloke <laughs> take off clothes and then look like he's got more clothes on. <laughs> Tooks. Well, mate, I don't know how many times I, I sent you send nudes and got Nude. nothing back. Uh, it's funny, on all the local Facebook pages, there's been sightings of the Rabina Yeti. Yeah, yeah. Right. Just, just rolling around. Bigfoot. <laughs> Bigfoot. You might get Big. a sponsor from Nads or something out of that. <laughs> the Wally Babbit. Yeah, Nair, nah, whatever it is. Um, all right, guys, let's do the tank group. The last group one of the day. Uh, it's eight race at Rose Hill, over 2,400 metres. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's have a look at this price. Gold Trip, who I think opened at about four dollars, is currently four dollars sixty. With Boom. Montefilia four ninety five. That's nice to see when you've got the eight dollars about. Knight's Order seven dollars ninety. Cleveland nine dollars. Sir Lucan uh, ten dollars. Arapaho elevens. Uh, this is a, this is a cracking race. I really like this race, so but I've also I've only got the one bet on it. I really do need help steering me towards what I'm going to bet on the day as well. Have you uh, been doing some some pre post betting? No, if, if if I mean you guys were out, but on the live that we did for the punters club, uh, BJC. Uh, BJ, 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 child, the merger, the merger, the merger club. <laughs> I think, I think I try, I think I try to get a BJC at a dingy massage place once. <laughs> I don't want to know what the C is. <laughs> no, but BJ said he goes, I off that run, uh, I would definitely be having a bet on Montefilia and the Tankard, and it was all in, and then we had eight dollars for about, I think, ten minutes. Yeah. So, uh, all right, DJ C, what are we liking, mate? I'm with Montefilia. I was I was on ground level last week when uh, there was a bit of chat getting thrown around after the race. Um, obviously, BJ tipped it. Massive run there for second last start behind Dubai Honor, who obviously definitely looks an above average horse. Uh, quick back up. If the rain comes, the punters shouldn't be concerned as it's actually, um, you know, it goes pretty good on the um, the heavy. It actually beat, I think, very elegant in last year's Ranvit. Um, so it was Tyler Schiller's turn last week uh, with his Group 1 and now this race sets up perfectly for Dylan Gibbons, the young fella from Thornton, New South Wales, to get his first Group 1. 
give him and the horse strength, boys. Is he from Thornton? Yep. I didn't know that. A local boy. Very yep. Isn't that where you live? Yeah, I see, I see his old boy, um, Andrew Gibbons, up. He's usually around the, the Thornton Shopping Centre. And um, we actually... My, Take a drink uh, away from your mouth. Just keep, finish talking. And yeah, so they're, they're from around here. You see Gibbo up the shops a fair bit. And, um, oh, Gibbo. He's a Gibbo. Of, uh, and, uh, yeah, Dylan's actually surprisingly very, very tall for a jockey, old Dill. He'd be... He'd be pushing six foot, I think. Six over foot six eight foot. Years, actually. It just says here on jockey.com. Yeah, so. Wow. No, mate, they're awesome family. Um, my uh, yeah, wife's mother in law, um, or stepmother in law, she um, knows them really well. So, yeah. She's... <laughs> Thank God. Were you two wondering? The, actually, we do. I wanted him to take I a sip, so and you told him to stop. <laughs> He's got to take a sip. I, I, no, I don't drink. Pressing, I was actually pressing the buzzer button at that stage; just wasn't working. Um, so back in kindy, so I, uh, I knew his mother-in-law. So, so this will be possibly set up for Gibbo's Gibbo's first group Gibbo. one, mate. Yeah, nice off, the, off the back of Tyler's first group one last week. Yeah. Yep. Are you with it, Zamet? Where are you? Where are you looking? No, no. I'm. Uh, I'm going to go wide here. Val and Declare um, won his first race in three years at the end of last prep, and then he's come back flying again this prep with two good seconds to uh, write you up, Paddy's horse. Uh, so I assume he'll be following here. Um, mate, just desperate for the 2400 meters. He'll go forward, and that's been the key to him getting back to some of his best form. Is going forward. And this Tancred uh, is a funny race. I think on speed is a real advantage uh, in a race that the speed can really come out of mid-race. Um, look, I think he's running the Caulfield Cup was as good as these these ones, Gold Trip, Monophilia, and the other horses around him. And I thought he was double the odds he should have been. And he started the money started to come for him now. I think he's into $12 last time I saw. He was as much as $26 all in, and I think he opened $17 final field. So... <laughs> Jeez, you get you get right to the limits. I love that. I beat you again, though, mate. I'm done. I'm done. I know. I did, you have you nailed this. Actually, I'm very impressed. I like people that push the limits, not like the mug that says three things to stay away from the 45 seconds. Eliza, <laughs> Eliza, let me check if I say this out loud. If it's the same amount of time, I had a time. I, I had a time me before. Yeah. Uh, Van de Clare is currently thirteen dollars. Uh, and 20 cents with the good folk over it. They're offering 20 cents, are they? At, uh, yeah, there's 20 days. cents wow. there. There's 20 cents there. Uh, all right, Pat. Boys, are we all Let forgetting the horse that won the Caulfield Cup is in this race? The horse that won the Melbourne... Oh, second in the Caulfield Cup. The horse that won the Melbourne Cup <laughs> is in this race. There's no need to shy away from Gold Trip. Over that two-mile race, it got nutted by... Over that mile-and-a-half race, sorry. It got nutted by Durston on the line. Comes out the next week on the quick backup in the Cox Plate. Gets held up. I think should have won a Cox Plate. This time, that first up run, I think, was too bad to be tr- true. Uh, comes out this start on the quick backup. I reckon there's no reason to shy away from it. It should have won the Caulfield Cup. And if it did, I guess probably it'd be shorter odds in this. But I don't know. Can't knock you, Paddy. Can't knock you. Blinkers on. Uh, did you notice? Blinkers on. That's what they did in the Cox Plate. Um, he said, oh, I didn't even see that the blinkers went on. But yeah. I, mate, oh, he's, I just, he's hard to beat. He's hard to beat. I don't blame you for putting him on top. I was expecting more last start, though, but they must know something. The quick pack up Kieran Maher and Eustace. Uh... <laughs> ah, okay. This is a tough one. I'm not fully it's convinced. It's a very open yeah. race. It's a very open race. Uh, let me let oh. me give you this. A couple of Melbourne Cup winners have won the Tancred, Sammy. Um, yeah. Who are they? Maccabi Diva, Ethereal. And very elegant went on to win a cup. So there's something there for Gold Trip and um, Bound to Clare. So let's get rid of DJC. Yeah, okay. Narrowed down to well, one I've of those already, I've got a ticket on that one, so it's okay. It's out of Gold Trip and, and Vow and Clare. If I'm going to have a second bet at the death. Well, do you know what? As Emmett said, uh, first time at v and did one in three years, and you wouldn't believe it, I was on because I'd followed it every start since <laughs> I won the Melbourne Cup. <laughs> So yeah. why 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 not vow and declare for you, Pat? You're just sinking gold. This is just gold trip race to lose. You're just I just the class. The class is there for gold trip, and probably I liked vow and declare in the Melbourne Cup when it was a lightweight chance. It's obviously increased in weight, and that's probably why it's found it's so tough to win. But lock in gold trip, semi. Lock it in. Yeah. We're locking it in, punters. All right, gold trip. Gold trip to take it out. 
Gentlemen, thank you so much. We've got so much going on at the leg up. If you're not involved with members only, get involved with members only. If you're not involved with our partners clubs, get involved with partners clubs. I'm actually thinking about running a sweeps this week. I've got really not a lot to do around uh, the partners clubs. I might run a little sweep through tips and slips. Uh, anything else to plug? Oh, the sports potty. Sports potty is blowing up, Patrick. Uh, top downloads last week. So, How did the um, multis go from last week, boys? Uh, mine Pat's won. won. Pat's won. Would oh, have mine. killed it in his AFL tips. He went seven from nine in his AFL tips. Nice. That's his ever tip. Uh, and the two things that I the, got yeah, wrong. The two that he put in the multi, they both lost. That was what the about zero from two. Sickening. Surely, uh, surely, <laughs> surely Zemet's got a tip for the punters in the Doncaster prelude. Oh, the Donny Prelude. The Doncaster Prelude. Why, why'd you pull that one up out of all, all races, DJC? Is there a lead because there, Because I, uh, <clears throat> I uh, may have looked at it briefly this afternoon while trying to do form, and I thought it was the actual Doncaster, and done a whole write-up for it. Oh, wow. Did you? Oh, <laughs> DJC, give us one. Give, give us one, man. Right. Man, I, I okay. can't want that race. Ready? For it. But say it without looking at the page. Wait, no, no, no. Let him, let him do the bloody... I, want no, I don't, I don't have you. Give don't everyone have... do one thing. I don't have your page today. I'm usually like that. Yeah, you've been good today. So I'm looking... For... That's why I'm giving you this last tip. Well, man, I was really... <laughs> Right, we will see you all next week. Crossfire! Lied him up. Lied him up. What a walk straight into that one. All right, love you, punters. See you next week. <laughs>